Hi there, my name is Brady Gessner and I'm a grade 10 student at Bow Valley High School and today I'm going to be sharing my personal leadership project. From a young age, my dad was faced with many health challenges that caused him to be in the hospital quite often and so this was really hard on me and my brother and so we would be required to make every moment count regardless of the situation. We would go for rides on his IV poles, climb statues, talk with nurses, eat crushed ice, you name it, we did it. But sadly, over the years, his health started to get worse and this led to his passing in April of 2012. And so this was really hard on me. I didn't understand why this was happening to our family. It wasn't fair. But in reality, it happens to lots of families. And so I started to hide under my smile and my mom started to notice this. And so this is when she introduced me to a lady named Nadine. Nadine has been in my life for more than 10 years and so she has helped me to realize that fairness and lots of things are big values within my life. And I struggle with controlling my anger, and so we noticed this from a young age. So when I'd go see her, we'd build a big Lego tower, and I'd knock it down. And then we would break, and then after that, we would break it down and say, why? And so after all that, I still see her to this day, which leads me to my stepdad. Shortly after my dad passed away, my mom started seeing a man named Jordan Boltock. At first, I hated him. I didn't want anything to do with him. He wasn't my dad. He couldn't replace him. But through all the hardship, we ended up becoming best friends, and he taught me valuable life lessons within my life, like doing the dishes, doing laundry, taking care of my brother, and taking care of my mother. But we later realized that Jordan suffered from an opioid addiction, and it led to his passing in February of 2018. And so I was back where I started. I was angry and didn't understand why. Which leads me to my grandpa. My grandpa was one of the most hardworking people I've ever met with in my life. And so when he was diagnosed with dementia, this was really hard on me. He slowly started to fade away. He couldn't remember me. And it was just different being around him. And so it got to the point where he, was, he needed to go into a home full time. So I was mad. I was mad at my mom, mad at my grandma. And I was like, this isn't fair. Why does he have to be there? Because there was nothing I could do. And so every time I would go see him, as you can see, I would leave crying and mad. And so it eventually, got to the, it eventually led to his passing in September of 2018, and I was back where I started. And so around this time, I was introduced to a man named Andrew. Andrew is a healthy relationships counselor at my school who I see weekly every Wednesday, and we focus on anger management. And he introduced to me the green, yellow, and red traffic light of emotions, which leads me to Dave Conlon. I met Dave Conlon at a Rocky View Leadership Academy course at the Locked Room in Calgary. And to start it off, he handed us out a sheet, and it had many different conflict management personalities on there. I recognized myself to be a firecracker, and what that means is I'll hold it all in, hold it all in, and then boom, I explode, and it's really hard to control that. And so using concepts from both Dave and Andrew, me and Ms. Carlson came up with the firecracker traffic light of emotions. And so you start at a green light, this is when the firecracker is just starting. It's pretty easy to control and manage it there. But from there, you get to a yellow light. And the yellow light, it can go one of two ways. You can either control and manage your emotions and stay and make your way back down to a green, or they can spiral out of control and you can make your way to a red. And so, a red light, that's when the firecracker has exploded, and from there, it is really hard to make your way back down to a green. And don't get me wrong, I do make my way to the red sometimes, but I am a work in progress, and nobody is perfect. I am working on myself because my mom deserves a better me, my brother deserves a better me, and I deserve a better me. I am my own personal leadership project.